guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Emily. Today I'm going to be sharing with you two different DIYs and they're both really, really simple. I am currently redoing my master bedroom and I'm trying to make it very um, shabby chic, farmhouse, romantic, country feeling. And so these two DIYs I feel like um, kind of help make the space a little bit better. And so I wanted to share them with you. The first one is actually going to be like a banner piece of garland that is really, really simple. And I just think it makes the space pop out a little bit and add that really like sweet romantic feel to it. And I really, really love that. And then the second one is sort of like a flower box candle votive idea. I think that you guys are really going to enjoy it. I haven't really seen anything like it and it's really versatile because you can change both sides of it and I think it's just kind of something different and I really really like what it does to my space. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's just jump right into the DIY part. For the garland DIY you're going to want some wire and wire cutters and then obviously flowers of your choice. I'm using this soft pink one, this little bit of a uh, hydrangea and then I'm using two of the exact same flowers and then another pink one and then I'm using these two which I'm not sure how many I'm going to use at this point and then some eucalyptus. You can use two of everything if you wanted to or have a couple opposites. So I'm taking my exact two stems here and looping them together, arranging the um, width of them. I kept mine about three feet in length and then since I only had a few um, options that was kind of limited, I went ahead and took this one and split it down. And I thought this would make a good middle focal point. And then taking this pink one and kind of deciding where exactly I wanted it after I was bending it and trying to figure out if I wanted it on the side or in the middle. But since I had the two pinks, I went ahead and took the rose one and put him right there. I thought he looked really pretty with that center flower and just kind of bending the flowers to different directions that you want. And then again, just taking the other one, that way it would be somewhat symmetrical or it has at least have symmetry in the coloring and also in the design of the garland. And then what you're going to do here is take some of your wire and go ahead and tie basically like a knot in it. You're just going to be twisting it at one side and you're going to make sure that's nice and tight and then start looping that all the way around your flower stems. That's going to enable it to hold all the way together. So once that is secure for yourself, then go ahead and take your um, eucalyptus or whatever greenery you have. And here I'm playing with it, seeing if I like one design or the other. And I think I decided on one. So here you can secure this with the wire again, but since this um, eucalyptus stem just bent really easily, I just wrapped it all the way around and it was just fine. So I'm just kind of adjusting it there. And then I, this flower did not bend well, so I ended up just cutting off the tip of it and then inserting it between the two. And you can use a little hot glue here or wire it on, but mine stayed for me. And I really, really like the way this came out. And just arrange it and fix things uh, as you go because wire flowers are the best. And this is how it turned out. I really, really love all the different peachy pinks and colors with the greenery. I think it's gorgeous. And then this end greenery is actually from Hobby Lobby, but all these flowers are from a floral. I'm obsessed with them right now. And I really love how everything just looks really real, but just adds a really nice elegance and a little bit of a farmhouse feel to the space. So for the second part, you're going to want a board. This was a one by eight that I'm using here, and this is a one by two. That'll frame around our board um, for the edging. And then you're going to want some sandpaper and then I'm just using a foam block for the sanding part. If you have a sanding block, it's the same difference. It's just what I use. I like it. You're going to want a paintbrush. I'm using black paint here and this is an eggshell finish or you can use chalk paint and this is driftwood in stain and this is um, dark walnut in stain. So once you have those, go ahead and sand your entire board. You're going to want to do that to the trim pieces also, make just kind of opening the grain, making sure it's smooth. Then take your paint and go ahead and brush that on to your piece of board. And I'm only painting one side of this because I'm going to make it double sided for more options for myself. Then I am taking just a rag here with the driftwood color putting that on and then applying just a light touch of the dark walnut and you can see it just darkens it up a little bit because I wanted more of a middle tone. 
Once those are all dry and everything, and I applied the same stain to the trim pieces, you're going to want to take a nail and a hammer or your nail gun, whatever you have on hand, and go ahead and nail those trim pieces on. And I centered mine, that way it would act as a bracket to hang it up on the wall so I could have it two-sided. Okay, so you can see how it's centered. And I just went ahead and went around, and then for this little part that we have cut off, we're going to restain those. That way they blend right in. So just take the same stain and rub that on and let it dry and defume itself. This is the fun part. Take your flowers and go ahead and trim them down to the desired height that you want. I wanted mine to sit inside of the box. Take your hot glue and just go ahead and press it on there and hold it. My little helper right there. And then just rearrange your flowers the way you wanted. I'm using um, these rhinoculuses. I say it wrong, I'm sorry. I'm um, in pink and white, and I really, really love the way they looked. It's very springy, but a little bit farmhouse and romantic looking. And this is how they turned out. This is the black with the brown edging on the trim, and I really, really like this. I think it's pretty, and these flowers are just so real looking. I love them, and it just makes me really happy seeing all the different um, colors. And then you can see the natural wood side. So I wanted to be able to have a few different options for my uh, room, depending on what I wanted to go with, and I like variety. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these two very easy DIYs that are a little bit farmhouse, romantic, and chevy chic all in one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Have a blessed day. Bye.